let's see, the uh, first thing uh, that we wanted to do, we wanted to uh, look at the uh, consulting contract for Desmond uh, Associates. Uh, here's the pamphlet on Desmond. Here is the, uh, the current uh, form of their contract. This, um, as you recall from the last parking authority meeting, let me just let you, Mr. Chairman, uh, what is this, contract? Yeah. this is the Desmond parking contract that had been reviewed before, uh, that we was approved at the last meeting. But what we did was, uh, working closely with your council, reviewed this contract to mirror the comments that uh, Ed, you, and the others had when the contract was considered last time. Among the important uh, changes in this contract that your solicitor insisted be in here are two things. First, that, uh, um, but let me first, on Desmond, uh, here is the pamphlet on the experience of Desmond Consulting. This parking consulting firm, uh, who would be a consultant to Fox Rothschild in this RFQ, RFP process, has been involved in every major parking concession that's been done to date in the country. So their expertise is uh, everything from meters technology, they would actually prepare the revenue projections on which the bids are based, they would also actually survey all the parking assets and give a, uh, a report on those assets which the bidders will rely on. I thought JJ was doing that. Um, so the, the contract, one important piece, and uh, this is, uh, Member Kutarski pointed this out, and all of the board members unanimously agreed, they wanted to structure this contract. So all we would be voting to, to do is commit to pay $5,000 in a retainer for Desmond uh, until the day that, on May 22, we get back the request for qualifications from interested parties. On that day, we will know whether we do or we do not have interest to move forward. And the way the contract is written, and this was uh, at Mr. Kutarski's direction, and uh, Murray and I looked at this together, uh, they will proceed to do the rest of their contract only when they receive written notice from the chairman of the authority to do so. So this contract, the beauty of this is we get their, their help for, uh, for the first piece of this, but we're not obligated to do the entire amount of the contract until the, uh, the authority says so. Quick question. In terms of the revenues, you say I'm you sorry, need to forecast the, the revenues. Sir, Why don't you start with what, what the actual revenues are now? That's not that hard. You don't need a big meeting, and we don't need to pay lawyers to do that. Right. Sir, Last year it was about 970000 Start from there. It's, this isn't rocket science, science and, you're, you're, and you're making it so. But should we, I mean, why are we addressing this? Are we supposed to go over the RQ? We are. It's a con. I'm just stealing time and charging money. What should anybody say? I'm sorry. Our solution to the question the question was asked of me as the endless mercy. Yes. Whether I can comment. Get these Rothschilds out of our city. I didn't get this until this morning. It's not been up there. We're in Washington. I'm sorry, but I haven't been able to review the changes. I had. Federal Reserve, the credit card companies. We can no, not at, not at all. Here, here's the, the only way we can vote on this today. Oh, okay. We well, have you, to read this. Fair enough. Well, then we want to do whatever is going to. What's well, more money, money for him? That's good. Uh, all, all we want to do is what, what makes the authority most comfortable. Uh, we received this from Desmond yesterday, revised with various comments. And it, it, just so you know, the authority. But, but he just to phrase the question. So we want to take as much time as we want. The, the question is: the changes were made consistent with. You know, what Murray suggested, Murray has had a chance to look at it. So let's make sure he gets time to look at it. And as long as they conform to, you know, uh, you know the approval of your solicitor, 
Well, the problem, I see just reading this one page, you get his credit the fee of $75,000. Uh, Alan, we're up to $107,000 already. I mean, this is their fee. Their fee. Yeah, I know, but their fee is. We really thought this would get done for $75,000. My biggest concern is right now, yes, sir, for the benefit of the taxpayers, why we did this. We expected for $75,000, or unfortunately, according to your contract, says we would be notified. And, uh, um, we paid 83, now we have more bills from you. Amen. And, 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 Amen. Yes. And, and, uh, we expected to have this to the bidding phase by 75 or 75,000 or 80,000. All right, we'll let you go. Right. We were supposed to be notified if the bill would go over that amount. Okay, if you exceeded it, which I guess because we paid the last bill, that's our notification. But you seem to have an open-ended contract here. Yeah. I mean, that contract said seventy-five thousand dollars. How do you justify us paying one hundred and seven? And can you actually give us an estimate of what this bidding phase? How much more is it going to cost us before this first phase is done? Sure. Well, I think a couple of. Uh, you know, it, 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 I think what we've done is uh, a couple of things. First, we've tried to let you know before uh, any money is incurred, and we want to continue with that policy. Uh, you have it. Consistent, consistent with our engagement letter, we estimated that our bill would be 75 for that, and we have an obligation to tell you if it'll be more, and we are telling you it's been more. So the question is, how much more? <laughs> to tell you it will more? be more. And of course no, it's, it's going to be more. more. It's the Rothschilds. On one piece, the, the answer is, under the Desmond contract, $5,000 until uh, the day that the authority decides to move forward. So, in other words, it's not... It, are we it's buying that. snake oil? The other thing that's important to note... Tell the search is, child you, you, you know, snake just oil. looking at other parking concession deals, the fee that one party who was in our spot on the Pittsburgh parking session, you know what they, they were receiving? Yes. Three yes. million dollars. Pittsburgh went bankrupt too. Three. But that's, we're not Pittsburgh. This is Wolfsburg. No, I appreciate that. And yes. 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 But I'm just saying that that is to do a parking concession, and that doesn't even include out what the legal fee that we're involved, which we're half Apple's a million dollars. So Apple's. that said, that's what, over that's what cities do for the opportunity to get $20 million where they don't have to raise taxes. Interesting enough. Now, what? That was how much to do. Yes, sir. We're hiring Desmond. Or yes, you sir. want us to hire Desmond? Yes, sir. For I see a hundred thousand dollars right in there. Right. Right. That's yes. what it is. I just noticed it quickly. I know we didn't have a chance. I never saw this before. We can't. Okay. Now, you want us to pay them a hundred thousand dollars? Isn't again, like I said at the last meeting, the cart before the horse? Shouldn't we have hired Desmond right at the beginning? Here's, here's the thing. Amen. Yes, Amen. Does right. certain, they, they're part of you know, experts. They don't really, uh, they don't write documents like the ones we do. They don't write RFQs. Have you ever done one like this before? Pardon? Have you ever done an RFQ like this before? Yes. Yes, we, we have. have. Exactly. Of course. <laughs> pretty, pretty close. We've for done it on. For just type of city? Uh, yeah, well, we were involved in, in Pittsburgh's on that one. We actually were responding. It's Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you said like you were on the bitter side. You yeah. were on the bitter yeah. side. Yeah, on Wilkesbury, yeah, we've actually done it twice. But before. you did an RFQ like this before. Oh, twice. Twice in Wilkesbury, to be honest with you. So that's among right. my. Okay. Anyway, okay. But your point, and the, and the 100,000, Ed, I would say that's, a, that's, a, that's not the right number. <clears throat> I would say the right number under this is $5,000 that we need to pay them, and that's all. And then after that, if yes, sir. In, in fairness to you, and yes, sir. To authority and to the public, it's not five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars is simply a, a toe in the water. The fact is that if there is an engagement of Desmond, it will be for the number that's stated in this agreement, which I haven't had a chance to review. But it is, as I looked at it briefly, it's an additional lump sum fee. It's a, a lump sum fee of 100000 and is one, and an additional lump sum fee of 115 Oh, my God. Plus expenses to phase two. Exactly. Wow. This contract's going to be released to the public. So there's no point in talking about a $5,000 well, fee. Then, and it will yeah. come, I will finish. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not disputing your, your suggestion, 
that the $5,000 is the initial fee. But we want to be entirely open and on the very Sure. Well, then, uh, consistent with Murray's suggestion, the total amount of the contract, uh, Ed, is actually not 100. It's, uh, there's three different phases, and I thought it adds up to about $250,000 for the total engagement of what they would do in all three phases, if you will. Okay. What, what, and all were, uh, the only point I was making. Just want you to be open about it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, no, this keep, contract just keeps going all up. things are going to be subject to, you know, right well, to well, like I say, say yeah. initially you said 75, and we were all okay for that. We're looking at the best interest of the tax. I'm a taxpayer. Yes, okay. sir. Uh, I'm a taxpayer. You said this would get done for around $75,000. And evidently, that's not even close. Well, but sir, what I what I what I said, and what the letter actually says, not what I said, is that the first phase would be done. And here's the thing: the first phase is is you know what we're saying is the question becomes how much does the authority really want to have spent before they know they're interested bidders? Clearly, they don't want to spend two hundred sixty thousand dollars. That was a point you know you made quite articulately at the last meeting. So as a result, what we did on this contract is say, until we know that we have interested bidders, we're paying these guys five thousand dollars, and they're the best in the country. Alan, yes, Alan, originally we were supposed has to, to be build, done. Originally, originally we were supposed to go with twenty-five million. Then you went down to twenty million. Where's the clarification on that other five million? Um, we could put twenty-five million in the RFQ, and that's something. But that's why was why why did it drop five million? Um, the, the number. What was it, what was it know, based on? The, based on the number, the, the purpose of this number is to have a minimum for the interested bidders to say, you need to have at least this much money to, be, to put in a bid and have it worth your time. This is not the stage where we find out what they're really going to bid. You see, what will happen in phase two if we do get interested bidders, then we ask Desmond, here's yeah, actually the way it works. After the chairman says we've got a list of interested bidders and we want to go to the next phase, we paid Desmond hundred thousand dollars to do a revenue projection, as he was suggesting, which shows for the next thirty or fifty years what are the revenues we produce, what are the capital expenditures to be made, and therefore what is this system worth? And then the bidders will beat themselves up. All we know is we set a floor as to what that bid was: twenty million versus twenty-five million. We could even do it higher. But since we have a, a small concession area compared to the other bids that have been done, we just oh, okay. you know picked a number of 20 based on discussions with Desmond, which is that was the input that we got. But it's not based on any financial information. I mean, it's, I do cap rates. I have a program I ran. Yeah. There's no way that could ever come out. But based on the earnings of the parking meters, the garage that that could come out to 20 million. Amen. Amen. I'd like to ask you a question. Sure. Uh, I would like these fees to be capped because we got money all over the place. I think they should be capped, and uh, that gives us a better opportunity to see what we're doing. We're here, we're there, we're all over with prices. I want the fees to be capped. And furthermore, I'm going to ask you a question. When you guys are all said and done, what happens to this parking lot? Bankruptcy. Uh, That's it right. Yeah, excellent, Bankrupt. excellent question. I think. The first piece, uh, in discussions with the authority, uh, there's two ways to do it. One is to pay for it on an hourly basis. The other is to have um, the professionals participate in the upfront payment and get a portion of that. And the decision was made early on to pay on an hourly basis. And so that was the contract that was struck with the authority, and I don't know if we're in a position to change that at, at, at this point. Your, your second question, though, related to what? The, uh, oh yeah, the parking authority, and, and it's always been in the term sheet, is going to uh, not only continue to exist if a concession agreement is executed, but the parking authority is going to have uh, the role of overseeing the concessionaire and receiving quarterly reports from the private party that, uh, that allows us to make sure that it's being operated consistent with their obligations under the concession agreement. And you know your council has made sure that we make sure we have the money for the parking authority to be able to carry that forward um, after the concession is done. And what about these fees being kept? I mean, uh, this is important. Yeah. 
Well, that's something we should we should definitely uh, you know have more discussion on. Because they're going out of good point. We're not going to have the money the way they're going. Right. Oh, one thing I was I meant to say is that the fees that the authority puts forth um, would be reimbursed from the upfront payment in the concession transaction. Uh, you have the guarantee. Yeah, yeah. Well, if there's no but if there's no better, there's no better. But well, I still got a question. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's double But I, I still have to question that. I've heard that before, and we didn't get it. So that's a big thing in the proposal. How, how do you this guy's a snake in the grass. Twenty or twenty-five million, when when mathematically it doesn't make sense. You, exactly. Well, I think that, that. But how did you come to that number? Just tell sure. me. Is there some program you run? Or what what are you doing? doing? Oh no, we we reached out to Desmond and we reached out to prospective bidders with the numbers in the term sheet. As you remember from the term sheet, which we looked at, we actually baked in a limit on what the rate increases could be, both on the parking meters and the garages, because we don't want to have a situation where the private party can raise, you know, the rates, you know, just as they want. So based on that, because that again, that gives us the, you know, for the revenue projection, that it's gives all us based the on projection. Completely, absolutely. That's how they will. That's how they always um, do their bid. And to be honest, they like often the derivative market. Desmond doing that math for them. See what they did to people's houses? They all size, lost them. Um, the, the bidders would not pay for a Desmond to do that, so that's why it's now on our But side. you don't have to pay somebody to do that. I'll do it for free. <laughs> I've got an MBA. Right. Well, the matters. difference is that the, the institutional buyers who invest in these projects, um, they uh, have certain groups that they've worked with in the past that they believe and have relationships and have worked on other public-private partnerships with, and that is why, you know, Desmond adds so much value because oh. they've been involved oh, in all this. So much value. Why can't we hire them instead of goals altogether? Um, have you already reached out to bidders, you said? Uh, no, not really. You, we have. Uh, that what you just said when you were yeah, talking. Yeah, what about we were trying to find out, it's a, you know, what's a realistic number. We did have discussion with one prospective bidder, given the size of this, it, you know, what is oh, a potential so range. Wonderful. But they actually said that we would need to look at, you know, as Ed would say, more financial information. Um, just so you know, she's a uh, she's a council person in Wilkes Barre. Oh, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Okay, well, answer any questions you have. Uh, let's see, this is, so the, the Desmond contract, they, they don't um, need you. Uh, Murray, tell me how you'd like to proceed and share this with you. I, I, I don't think it's I would have, but I think it's council. I, I think that the, as the authority, I don't know how they want to proceed. I, 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 I think that there is being voiced here a certain discomfort about not having reviewed it. So I, I, I think that uh, I, I, can't, I can't answer for the authority. I, 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 I Here's the, the draft of the RFQ. The only changes that have been made since our last, the day after our last 